How's it going guys? In today's video, I'm going to talk about Cassis and Qrem Sting Grid Builds. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe for future content like this and let's get started. So let's go through his stats first. For stats wise, it's okay, not bad. HP is pretty high. Special attack is also really high actually, 381. Speed is a bit a bit on the lower side but still okay. Defense versus defense is quite good for a striker. So the first one we have Glaciate. It's a 4 gauge AoE move that can do good damage. Sadly, it's 95 accuracy, but you can minus 1 speed. Second one is Noble Roll. Noble Roll is also not bad, right? 2 gauge move, you minus 1 attack, switch attack. It's definitely useful for his uh, overpower and packing order passive, right? We're gonna talk about more later. Dragon Breath, you probably don't wanna use it a lot of time. It's kinda, it's not that useful, honestly. I mean, 30% chance, you are hostile environment in this grid, but you wanna use him as DPS or a sing nuker. Mohaha, the trainer move. You plus 1 crit and then you can plus up to 3 special attack. This train move is honestly not that. It's not like crazy good, right? Because you only. At max HP, when you use it at the start of battle, you only plus 1 special attack. Then you only plus 1 crit. So just bring like a crit or special attack support. For Sing move, Sing move is the lower the speed, greater the power. So like at minus 6 speed, you double your Sing move damage, which is pretty cool. Hunter's Instinct, at minus 6 speed, your moves will do 30% more damage, which is very good because you can easily lower speed with Glacier, right? So yeah, just remember to bring crit and special attack support for him. And then he can just do damage or even you can bring like uh, attack or special attack debuffer or even a speed debuffer as well to make use of his passive and his grid, right? We're gonna talk more about it later. Now let's quickly look through the grid. So he has Glacier MGR3, pretty cool because for gauge move is costly and then the speed is not like amazing also. Cold Snap 2, this is really cool right, 30% chance to freeze Then we get Power Reserves 3, it's not that consistent But you can maybe pair it with Endurance right, to hang in on 1 HP and then do damage But then, usually at 1 HP you're gonna die right Similar Reserves 6, no, I don't think it's useful Moha MPI 3, I don't think it's useful because you just bring like crit or special attack buffer right Accuracy, I think this is a this is worth it to take it because 95, you have 95% right Take this Glacier because 100%, so that's pretty cool. This one, Dragon Breath in Jet 3, and then Hosa Environment 1. No, I don't think you should take it. And then Paral Paralysis in Jet 3. This might be good, it's a bit costly, but 80% damage is nice. Overpower, this is really good. You double, oh, you know, I mean, you plus 30% damage and minus 6 special attack. And then we have Noble, Noble Roll and Jet 3. We have, three of, we have two of them for some reason, it's kind of weird. Noble Roll Double Drop, this is good if you're running a Sing Nuke build So you have minus 2 attack and minus 2 special attack instead of minus 1 Packing Order, this is really good If you have this and your this right, Sing Move, you have minus 6 speed and minus 6 attack You will triple your Sing Move damage Crazy You can hit extremely hard, I can show you the damage calculations later Now I have 4 builds to show you guys The first build is the Hybrid build So you're mixing Glacier and Sing Nuke so you want to take MGR3, Accuracy Then you want to take Overpower, Double Drop and Packing Order And you just connect everything So for this build, how you want to use it is You probably want to use Noble Roll 2 times So you get him to minus, six, minus 4 attack, minus 4 special attack Or if you're bringing, if you're bringing like a Champion Iris or, or whoever can debuff attack and special attack then you only need to use normal roll once and then just let them do the job and then just spam glacier basically to activate his the sing move multiplier thing right and a 6 speed and then our power and packing order will also activate because you lower special attack and attack the next build is a sing new build basically just take the power ups right he's gonna do a lot of damage with sing new crazy damage then you take packing order and then double drop so basically just spam normal roll and until minus 6 attack and special attack and then just sing you your opponent will stand no ch will, will, won't stand a chance against the sing new power of this thing it's crazy good if you're running if you if you plan to bring other attack or special attack debuffer then you probably want to sacrifice this maybe and then just take this instead right just take this in GR but it depends right you can just you can change it up a bit if you want his third build is a pure Glacier build So you're gonna take Cold Snap 3, a uh, Cold Snap 2 and GR The uh, accuracy and then overpower Basically you just wanna uh, Spam Glacier 
right? And then you hope for freezes and then boom, easy. You're gonna do a lot of damage. And overpower, overpower, maybe, well, it kind of depends, right? Because if you spend Glacier, you won't really have a chance to use Noble Roar. So you want to bring like a special attack debuffer maybe. Or if you don't want, you can just sacrifice this and just take something else. It's up to you. Now for his fourth build, it's kind of similar to the previous one, but you're gonna take Paralysis Synergy 3. This build is if you plan to take like a Thunder Wave user, like maybe Lieutenant Surge and Raichu and Callum, Callum and Meowstic. So you have 30% here, 30% here. But that is a 60% buff. That is assuming you get him to minus 6 special attack. Overall, he's really good. He can do both DPS and single damage. And for some reason, his attack, right? I mean, it makes sense he's, he has Noble Roar, but his damage is as good as a striker. Now, here is the damage calculation. The top one is his single damage. So you have one multiplier from a single move, and then one from picking order, right? So your damage will go up to 30, almost 30,000. Crazy damage. Insane. Like, one of the best single nuker, right? And then this one is Glacier. You have Hunter's Instinct and Overpower. That is 60% extra damage. 8,000, which is pretty good. And then I haven't added in paralysis energy, right? If you have, if you paralyze it, 10,000, 10k. Good damage. Not as good as Palkia, but still really good. It's very solid. But then, of course, you need more setup for Gatsis. For Palkia, it's really simple. You just get him to plus 6 speed for ramming speed, right? For this one, you need to plus, you need to get to minus 6 speed and minus 6 attack to activate. It's gonna take a while, but you can still do low damage. Crazy damage. So guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.